Okay, I listen to everything that this guy right here, Peter Schweitzer, has to say. This guy's probably the most intelligent guy in the journalist field. This guy's been following the Hunter Biden story since before it was a Hunter Biden story. From that stand to the response to the Ukrainians who are in dire, desperate need of help, uh, is anything that you have learned as a result of that laptop uh, pointing you toward believing that this president is compromised on his decision making because of the money he has taken in? Yes, absolutely, Maria. Um, there's a couple of things that people have to keep in mind. The first is, if you look at the three big flashpoints in American foreign policy today, Ukraine, Russia, and China, the Biden family has received funds, millions of dollars, in some cases tens of millions of dollars, from powerful individuals connect to the, connected to the government in each of those countries. And that's the first factor. The second factor is, this is not just a Hunter Biden story. Uh, the New York Times tries to paint it that way. The headline is even Hunter Biden pays his back taxes, but broad investigation continues. But you're right, they admit that the laptop is real. And what the laptop reveals, Maria, is that Hunter Biden received these funds, but the president of the United States, Joe Biden, was a recipient and a beneficiary of those funds. Hunter Biden and Joe Biden had intermingled finances. Hunter Biden was paying monthly bills. He was paying for repairs on his home. So this this is a story that goes straight to the president, and each of these countries, particularly China, has a policy of using commercial ties, financial ties, as leverage over foreign elites, and they clearly have that in this case with Joe Biden. Well, you have reported that the Biden family took in $31 million. How do you get to that number? And I want to show you the New York Post cover story today, because suddenly, just because the New York Times says that it's real, now we're supposed to say, okay, so it's real. I mean, the Post reported this a long time ago. The New York Post is the oldest newspaper in the country. Uh, they have done a fantastic work and breaking news. We've had a number of their uh, editors on. And here are the spies who lie on the cover today. Where will be the account? Accountability for those intelligence officials who signed their name to that document and confirm the $31 million for us. Where, do you, where did you get that? Yeah, I think, first of all, you're exactly right about the New York Post. Uh, Emma Jo Morris, Miranda Devine did a fantastic job of breaking that story. Um, and it's important that people realize how the media has failed them. This is, I would argue, the most important story when it comes to corruption in Washington, D.C. And if you read the New York Times and rely on that for your source of information, you have no clue as to what's actually exactly. going on. Uh, as it relates to the $31 million, that comes from the laptop. Those are the deals that are enunciated. There are emails in which foreign nationals uh, are saying, I just fi I wired $5 million into your account. Please okay. confirm receipt. Mm. Um, so it's very clear and back and white. But it's also important to point out, Marie, in the case of China, that $31 million came from four Chinese businessmen, each one with links to the highest levels of Chinese intelligence. So okay. this is an intelligence so operation. Is that yeah, is that why we're not hearing details of the call between Biden and Xi Jinping? Stay with us, Peter. We'll be right back with more on that.